Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and it's officially time for a brand new Let's Play series to go along with Coral Island's launch into 1.0. I'm very excited to discover this game with you all and see what's in store for us. Please don't forget to give the video a like if you'd enjoy seeing more episodes in this series. And without any further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. So we're going to customize our character. You can change the body mass. There's lots of variation here. There are a ton of hairstyles to choose from. Wait, let's change the color first. Let's get our blonde. Have, wow, look at this one. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these. Oh, this is nice. Nice little bun. Oh, these ones are really cute too. Look at these. There are literally so many to choose from. You could probably spend like hours just picking a hairstyle. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. This is my favorite. There's a ton to choose from. I really like this one too. This one's really cute. And this one, if you want like really long hair, this one's cute too. And this one, look at all of them. Yeah, I'm going with this one. So then we can change up our eyebrows. So there are a few different styles. There's eight different styles, nine, nine different styles. I think I like four. And then for eyes, oh wow. <laughs> Staring into my soul. Number one it is. Uh, then for nose, we're just gonna go with one. And then lips, we can change the color of the lips. So we can have some lipstick. Want a little bit of makeup? I was just thinking of like a peachy kind of pink, like a very neutral. Honestly, maybe something like that. That's kind of cute. Now let's look at the different styles. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So you can add facial hair as well. I especially love the flower beards. I think they're so cute. And then we get to pick an outfit. I love all of these starter options but I think I'm gonna go with my tried and true purpley, magenta, blue, and our farm name. So of course we have to name the farm Sunstone. We're ready to go. I'm so excited. You leave Pokio to start a new life on Coral Island. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at the little critters. Is that a whale and the dolphins and the pelicans? Oh my gosh, there's so much wildlife. Oh, it is so beautiful. We're arriving on Coral Island with the chicken boat. Mayor Connor says, hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. It's been a long time, Sarah. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. It was safe and comfortable. Still not sure what I'll do here. It's weird. It feels like I've done this before. Maybe in another life. Maybe you're remembering your trip from back when you were a kid. I still remember your parents. Good folks. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. Ooh, we get to see our house. Our farm. Here we are. It looks a little bit run down, but that's okay. Joko says, all right, the floors are done. Dinda says, oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? That's right, Sarah, this is Dinda and Joko. They're the local carpenters. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Looks like it needs some work. <laughs> Indeed, Sarah, this will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... Ahem, excuse me, Mayor Connor. Did you just say we did a poor job here? Uh-oh, she looks mad. Eh, uh, uh, no, I mean... No, just kidding. Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we could only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Honestly, like ain't a free house. I don't care what condition it's in. <laughs> Take care, Sarah, and good luck. Plus they're gonna fix it up for free. Like you can't go wrong with this deal. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. 
Just a small field, right? Nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we seriously have our work cut out for us, you guys. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. I look so panicked. I look absolutely like, what did I sign myself up for? <laughs> Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll be going now so you can get some rest. Oh, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. Ooh, a little care package. Oh, cute. You received a watering can, an ax, a scythe, and some random seeds. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake. Welcome home, Sarah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, this is our house. We already have a quest. Plant 10 seeds, water 10 seeds. We can do that. No problem, we're farmers now. This is from the local carpenters to remind us that if we wanna repair the house, we need to gather the materials. So we need 50 wood and 20 stone and then bring it to the carpenter shop. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Now that's service. Oh, and we got some Kickstarter exclusive farmer outfits. <laughs> and, oh my goodness, we have the Ocean Guardian DLC stuff from the charity bundle. Is this gonna fit in my pocket? No, it's not. Well, the good news is that because we have this, we can actually use this chest to store everything. I actually might wear, I think I'm gonna wear these ones. They're really cute. Yeah, look at those. They like match my hair and the vibe and the season. It's spring. We already have a scarecrow too. I feel like I'm cheating. If you don't have these items, what I would highly recommend you do is actually craft a makeshift chest as soon as you can to start putting stuff away. So you're gonna want 20 wood and 10 pieces of trash to do that. So do that like right away. Otherwise you're gonna run out of pocket space really quickly. So we're just gonna clear this up so we can, first of all, collect the materials we need to upgrade our house. And also so that we can plant our crops right away, get them watered. Oh my goodness, that's one mighty tree. Get rid of all this trash. I see the pufferfish logo on these plastic bags. What is it doing on my farm? I'm actually not too worried about using up all my stamina because they gave us some candied tree seeds, which we can eat to replenish it. So we'll be good, hopefully. We are kind of getting low though. We're like already halfway through our stamina, but that's okay. Nothing a little candy can't fix. Okay, so we're planting turnips. By the way, if you're like, what did I plant? You can check. Just click and hold the right mouse button. You're good to go. Daisies, daisies and turnips. We're gonna make sure we get these watered. Gotta water them every day. They gotta drink, stay hydrated. Oh, look, quest updated. I'm gonna go ahead and refill my watering can so that I don't forget to do it later. So we need 40 more pieces of wood and 13 more stone. We can do that. We might as well get it done right away. I mean, I really do love, genuinely love the look of this house all like broken down and stuff. But we're gonna have to fix it up anyway, so we might as well just do that. This tree, how many hits did that take? 200, it felt like 200. They are strong, sturdy trees. I mean, as they should be. Oh my gosh, our stamina is almost out already. Not even noon the first day. My girl's working hard. Okay, we're gonna eat some snacks before we pass out. <laughs> a nutritious snack of candy, my favorite. Oh my gosh, there's so many plastic bags. Who is still using plastic bags? We need to get these out of here, but I need to prioritize the rocks right now for my house. I'll have to come back for this later. That didn't give me anything. Now we can go to the carpenters. Before we do that, I'm going to put away some of the stuff I don't need just to free up pocket space so I can maybe forage along the way. Uh, I'm just gonna label this resources for right now. Oh, look at the animals. Hello, friends. Okay, let's go to the carpenters, like I said. Ooh, trash can though. I got a rummage in every trash can. I'm playing on the fastest speed in case you guys were wondering at 100%, but you can change the time to go to like 50%, which I would recommend, but I'm challenging myself. Hi, Dinda. I'm here with all the materials. House upgrade. You guys, we can pick a style. Ooh, they're all so cute. Wow, I feel spoiled. I literally just moved to the island today and they're gonna do all this for me, like literally day one we just met. They're not even charging me for it. I think I might have to go cottage vibes. I'm feeling the cottage vibes. Zero coins, turning in the materials, done. I don't even have to think about that. That's like the best deal. 
Awesome, thank you. I'll work on it right away. Joko honey, a slight change of plans. Sarah's here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair Sarah's cabin. I have no idea how they're gonna accomplish all that with, what did I give them, 50 wood and 20 stone? <laughs> wow, that's awesome, Sarah. Let's do it. Wow, it looks so much better already. We got a little wardrobe, little shabby chic aesthetic, little chest of drawers. Gotta sweep up the dust. Stop for a little, <laughs> that's so cute. And a TV, of course, we need the TV. I will probably have no time to watch TV, but maybe we can make some time in the mornings. Whew, that old thing was really heavy. We're finished. What do you think, Sarah? Looks brand new, no more holes. How long is the warranty? Honestly, it looks brand new, almost. Is it? I'd say we can do better. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration, Yes, <laughs> we have a furniture store in town. But since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out though, you might see something you like. If you want, we can go there right... All right, that's enough. <laughs> You'll scare the kid. Oh, sorry, Sarah, I got too excited there. We love that store, even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time, Sarah. It's in the middle of the town, shouldn't be hard to find. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV. <laughs> so important. <laughs> we threw in a free TV for you, Sarah. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It gets a good amount of channels too, like this weather. <laughs> well, sometimes you gotta smack it good at a 60 degree angle like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too, love them. Some shows have useful tips, if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, Sarah. Don't forget about the furniture store, all right? I won't. I, I don't think I'm gonna be buying any furniture like too soon. I mean, I don't think I have any money. Your house just got bigger. Yay. It looks really good though, much cozier. I have 300 coins. I'm definitely not gonna use that to buy furniture. We got some rewards from this quest. We got 100 gold. We got paid to do that. And we gained, it looks like some relationship points with Joko and Dinda. That's awesome. Claim please. Let's uh watch TV. And now we have 400 coins. Okay, we're moving up in the world. We're getting rich. How to be a farmer. Because honestly, do we know how? We literally just moved here. <laughs> My name is Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm gonna tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in a year, <laughs> long ago. <laughs> water your crop every day, that's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? Wow, that's such a good tip. Thank you, Jeff Smith, appreciate it. Okay, oh, and we could now actually put away our clothes here that I put in a chest. It seems more sensible to have them in the wardrobe so yeah, let's put our, look at all of our fit options already. We may be broke, but we are styling. Fake it till you make it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pop this one out on the farm. Again, if you don't have this DLC, you're going to have to unlock <laughs> the scarecrow recipe by leveling up your farming. Now let's head into town. Let's check the map. So now that we've met Joko and Dinda, they're showing up on the map. Everyone else is gonna be a question mark until we meet them. So we should probably go around and try and introduce ourselves. I also like to do a little bit of foraging if we could. Oh, look at a little tulip. Oh, a bug scared it off. I love the nature sounds out here. There is, it's Betty. How lovely to see a new face around here. You can call me Betty, dear. You're the first visitor we've had in a while. After the oil spill last year, tourists hardly come anymore. Oh my gosh, it's still so beautiful though. Okay, let's not miss these clover spots. A morel. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These all look new. Violets, look at them, they're adorable. Now, why wouldn't anyone like those? Look at, there's so many. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. Like, what to do first? Let's say hi. Oh, Ben's meditating. Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. May our paths cross again. I'm sure they will. I live here now. Trash, love it. There's an errand available. Oh, Waku wants a peony. Yeah, I definitely don't have that. I literally just got here. Ooh. At the general store, Connor's here. Hey, Sarah, I knew you would eventually make your way here. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of the store. 
This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, Sarah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. So rude. <laughs> I mean, it's probably true though. Anyway, before you get going, Sarah, your moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Absolutely, I'm already on it. I'm already a little social butterfly. Okay, what I wanna do, oh, we gotta meet 30. Oh, there's peonies available already, actually. I just wanna see what kind of stock we're working with here. I'm gonna sell a bunch of these forageables I just got and see if I have enough money now. Oh my gosh. We're already pros. We have enough money to upgrade our bag. So we'll have 20 spaces in it. Only 500 coins. I'm definitely gonna get that because now we can collect a lot more stuff at once. And also we'll be able to toggle between our, <laughs> our toolbars. So that's really helpful. That's so worth it. All right, we're starting our new life. I see another violet. I really wanna collect a ton of forageables to make some money. And they'd probably be good as gifts as well. Rummage some trash cans. Maybe just see who we can run into to introduce ourselves. Oh, look who it is. Hello. It's Taco. You say hello to Taco. Hi, Taco. He seems to like it and that's all that matters. So cute. Can I pet you? His claws are short. Luke must have just groomed him. Oh my gosh, we haven't met Luke. Another morel. Another morel. My good friend, the morel mushroom. Oh, and look at this little flower. This one's cute. Wow, I love the forageable models. They're so cute. Oh, look, here's Waku. Sarah, did I say it right? I'm Waku. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Yes, Mr. Wataru. Yep, the one with the hat. Did I hear a Pokio accent? Oh, you are? Where in Pokio are you from? Um, up the hill. Next to the thingy, or the busy part. I think I'm from next to the thingy. Oh, right, the thingy, yes, of course. <laughs> so specific. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hello, little panda friend. Yeah, this does not look good here. Oh, all the lights just came on. Why are we digging up trash from underground? Who is littering? So many bugs, oh my gosh. Firefly, centipede, hey, a cricket. Getting a lot of trash, which will be really useful for crafting. Oh, look at these mushrooms are so cute. Another shiitake. Little, some kind of caterpillar bug thing. Critter. I can't get any of them. Any of the bugs. Not yet. Oh, is that a flower? It looks like it's floating. Look at this one. Oh, this one's so hidden. Give me that. I have, I have a Hawkeye in this game. In this game, I do. Ooh, Morel. <gasps> Look at this. I'm excited. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. <gasps> Can I inspect it? No, I don't want to hit it. I'm trying to see the magnifying glass. I want to inspect it. Oh, me using up all my stamina to try and inspect it. Detective Sunstone is on the case. Ooh, stinky tree. I'm gonna have to fix that. You guys, we have our absolute work cut out for us. Ooh, open chest. Five candied tree seeds. You know what? Those are gonna come in clutch because we're like using all of our energy so quickly. Day one, we're burning out. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at this one. So hidden. Mine. Ugh, I feel bad that I'm scaring off all the bugs. I mean, I literally just... I'm trampling them, so honestly, they should be scared. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to where I'm walking. Gorgeous, ooh, twinkle lights. <gasps> oh no, they're closed. Closed on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? Okay, so if any of you wanna actually browse the shop right away, you have to come on day one. <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna be closed for the rest of the week. Ooh, look, we're in Starlet Town. We have the clinic, the salon, which we don't need because we're already like so fab. Uh, a for lease building. Socket and pan, the furniture store that Joko and Dindo were talking about. Again, I cannot spend my money there. Another spot for lease. It's already 10 p.m. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's already so late. Did we even meet any characters? We met some. Oh, someone's walking right here, a stranger. What stranger is walking? Oh, we're further away than I thought we were. Dash, dash, dash. There's a stranger. Dash towards them. Oh, hi, hello. Are you, do you know where you are? Oh, hi. Maybe it's normal for them to just walk around in their bathing suits here. I mean, they're on like a tropical island, so why not? This is Theo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? Uh, that's right, Pokio. I'm 
Cynthia. I'm from here. I fish for a living. Oh my gosh. Well, have a good evening, sir. It was nice to meet you. Oh, maybe we could check out the tavern? They should be open late, right? That sounds like a place that should be open late. It does say open. Hello. Oh, the music. There's music playing. Um, I don't want to shop. Can I just talk to you? Don't mind me. I'm just going to be coming behind the counter. Hello. Whoa, look who's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Folks at the tavern have been talking about you. I, well, I must have interrupted. You should stop by sometime, Frank. My guy. Oh, you mean like stop by for actual business. He's like, you should come back when you actually want to spend money. <laughs> Why am I here? Everyone's probably asleep. They're sleeping. I need to leave. I need to go home. It's going to be midnight soon. I need to get my little butt back to my farm and go to bed. Can I, uh, we're not going to push our limit. We are going to go right back home after we rummage this trash can. Call me a trash panda if you'd like. I call it living on a budget. <laughs> We've explored like one tenth, not even, of the, the map. Not even. Let's sell the scavengeables. I'm going to keep one of these. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful the outside of my house looks. Look at the windows. I can't believe I got this for free. I still can't get over it. They must really need me here. Let's go to bed. Ooh, oh my gosh, we already leveled up foraging. So we added three to my maximum stamina and we unlocked the recipe to actually craft these. We can make unlimited now, as long as we have the materials. Unlimited candy. We made 220 gold on our first day, not to mention the other money we made that we spent on our bag upgrade. That was all just from foraging and rummaging through trash cans. So I'd say that's pretty successful. On to day two. I feel like we're off to a really strong start. Oh my gosh. It adds our little total there. I love the sound effect. Okay, so for this one, you need any tree seed, three of them, and then one piece of sap. And let's check out the TV. The weather forecast, maybe? This could come in handy. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding area. An unreasonable downpour is expected tomorrow. Rain is approaching Coral Island. Oh, that's good. Then we don't have to water our crops tomorrow and save our energy. Um, also coral shopping? Welcome to coral shopping. I mean, I don't have money to spend, but what's for sale? Blender, don't miss out. Take this amazing new blender for a spin in your kitchen. Oh, I don't have a kitchen, but thanks. So because I went to bed after midnight, I don't have full stamina when I wake up. That's a sacrifice I don't know if I should take. It's tempting to stay up late, you know? But to wake up with less energy, it's just like real life. Okay, so I planted my wild seed, which is a turnip. Okay, more turnips. I think we wanna also plant maybe some other crops. Get some diversity going. Um, I do have 249 coins that I could spend. I'm kind of mixed because I kind of want to go socialize, but I feel like I should probably start growing some other stuff. You know, it's like, ugh, you want to hang, but you got to work. Let's see if anyone is around. Oh, there's someone here, a stranger. Wait, there's strangers everywhere. Let's just go meet them. And I think we actually should get seeds today because Sam's will probably be closed tomorrow on Wednesday. Look who it is. Hello, 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 hello. Look at your beautiful hair. Oh, Sarah. As in, Sarah, Sarah, it's nice to finally meet you. Farmer? Cool. I'm one of the doctors here. Oh my gosh, everyone is here. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna meet everyone at once. Okay, hi. You're the new arrival, huh? Don't bother me and I won't bother you. <laughs> Psych, you're in my way. No, seriously, you're in my way. Okay, hey you, is this our new neighbor? Making your way around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Yes. Dude behind the bar? Yeah, friend of yours? Yeah, we, we met. Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Honestly, having anyone cook me dinner sounds lovely. Means I don't have to cook. Alice? Is that? Is that you, Sarah? It is me. Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that getup. I don't have my glasses. That's why she didn't recognize me. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. Yeah, I'm a farmer now. Right. It's not just the town, you know. The inn isn't as busy as it used to be. Hopefully with you moving in, it's a sign of something good. I, I hope so too, honestly. Uh, the children, I'm not gonna disturb their learning. I'm sure they're supposed to be in school. Outdoor education. Yeah, there's their teacher. I'll meet the teacher though, wait. <laughs> My name is Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? Ah uh, yeah, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Taco, hi buddy. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we're, we're, no, we're meeting people, but we are going to go buy some more seeds. I have decided, oh my gosh, look at all the animals. Look at them. Let me in. Talk? Oh, I want to talk to the cat. Look at this guy with his bone. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Hi, wait, this one. Hi, Spiker Doo. I want to just 
pull you over the, the railing. Spiker Doo looks happy today. How could you not be happy <gasps> when your name is Spiker Doo? We get to, I met Spiker Doo. I met Spiker Doo, where does that show up? Oh my gosh, Taco, Spiker Doo. Oh my gosh, so many characters to meet. Okay, and we're starting to unlock the characters on our relationship page. So many to meet still. Oh my gosh, there's so many characters in this game. Let's say hi to Eva. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest. Eva for short. I want one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these. We don't see too many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. I just want the baked goods. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna buy some stuff. So we have daisies and turnips already. I definitely want some cauliflower, some potatoes and carrots. I don't know how much money I have to spend. I'll do four of those, two of those, and I guess one of these, unless I can make some more money. Yeah, let's do like one more daisy. Okay, spent like, all oh, I have six coins left. Thank goodness. It's just my emergency money in case something hits the fan. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. Oh no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I heard from the twins who run the inn that a new farmer moved in. I just thought, you know, never mind. What, you thought I was gonna have straw in my mouth? You thought I wasn't gonna be cute? Just cause you're a farmer doesn't mean you can't be cute. Let's go to the beach. Ooh, I love these spots. They are lucky. Silver kelp, see? A junonia shell. Oh, what is this trash doing? See. What is going on here? Who is littering? Who does this? Who throws trash? With treasure in the ocean, new discovery, a coffer, bring it to the blacksmith to unlock. There may be valuable items inside. You know what? Litter more, I changed my mind. If I can find treasure in the trash, you can litter all you want. Oh look, they're playing volleyball. Wow, that looks fun. I mean, it would look fun if I liked volleyball. Get rid of this. What is this? Seriously. I don't want to see a single piece of trash out here. On this beautiful beach, like whoever's doing this, do you not appreciate the island you live on? I don't get it. Oh, I should not use up all my energy because we need to plant some more crops, like the ones I just bought. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, that was quick. Now they're picnicking. Oh, hello, I don't think we've met. I'm Aaliyah. Good talk, good talk, okay. Wait, now what is this? Is this sand, stone? Oh, hello, sir. You look very... Where are you going? Wow, the soles of his feet must be just... Okay, dude, hold on, let me help you. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, I just feel like he needed some help. He was literally standing in trash. I can't believe he just walked over that like it was nothing. My feet could never. Oh my gosh, another coffer? The mystery of like who is leaving all this trash behind but with treasure in it. That's why it's good to be a trash panda, you guys. Cause you'll get you'll get good stuff you know what they say one man's trash <laughs> me and my six coins i can't get over that but watch me tomorrow we'll have like at least six more it is three o'clock in the afternoon oh my gosh betty bless her heart and soul is back here with the bird feeders you can tell she takes care of this town i want to say hi again what a lovely day i might bake moon cakes to enjoy with some evening tea why of course i can bake moon cakes oh my gosh i don't just bake cookies dear what did you say? Why? I feel like I'm gonna be fighting with my own farmer. I feel like this is just the beginning. I don't know what she said to Betty, but I did not give her consent to say whatever she said. Let's plant more seeds because we're farmers. And that's what farmers do, right? I don't know, I literally just got here yesterday. Maybe we could get some more wild seeds to plant. Those are free. And free stuff is good because if it's free, then you don't have to spend money on it. So it's 100% profit. We got glass from the, you know what? Pretty good stuff from clearing up that trash. It rewards you for being a good person. I will be selling all of the shells I collected and that flower. I wanna pause the time and hang out with the animals. They are so precious. <gasps> Look at the Luwak. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get a Luwak. It's gonna take me probably years. <laughs> oh, some poo. Hello, I just got, oh, just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. I was gonna tell him I got some poo and I don't know why I would do that. <laughs> That's something she would do. Your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Having another rancher could be good for the local economy. We might be able to make local cheese again. Oh, cool. I could help with that for sure. I can do anything. You just have to tell me how. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kira. Let's go into the forest. Look how cute it is. 
Oh my gosh, the forgeables, I can't get over how cute they are. Ooh, look at this, this is so cool. This game looks so good. I didn't think it could look any better. I was wrong. Oh, look, free seeds. That's what we were trying to get. Manifested, another canola. Oh, and a morel. Oh, danger. Uh-oh. You hear the clanking of swords from inside. You wonder if there's some fighting going on. Oh, I can hear that. It sounds like somebody's fencing or dueling. Uh-oh. -uh. You see the eyes? You see the eyes there? Wait, they were there for a second. There's something odd about this cabin. I see eyes. Okay, so there's nothing over here for me right now. Oh, but a stranger. What a great place to run into a stranger. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Kenny, you're Sarah. I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Well, I think you came to the right place. I hope you can find it here. Fresh air, peace of mind, whatever it might be. Wow, thank you, Kenny. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Hanging out? They're quite close. Is that a bamboo shoot? Oh, look how baby it is. It's so cute. It is a bamboo shoot. More seeds. Excellent. At this rate, our farm is going to be amazing. Oh, I see what they're doing, I guess. Cha-em. Imagine you're just trying to work and someone like walks up to you like this and starts doing jumping jacks. How, do, how are you doing, Waku? <laughs> Spring, finally. I've been itching to spend some nice days outdoors. It's really beautiful this time of year. Peaceful too. Spring is truly special here. Why do I get the feeling that every season is special here? Oh, flower. That could be a gift. Uh, I really should keep some of these things I'm picking to give as gifts, but it's kind of just tempting to like sell it. Oh, harvest? Oh, it's like hidden right behind. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna harvest these. Whoever left these for their dot 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 i'm not gonna harvest those oh my gosh no no go away go away we don't want any of this i already know we don't want this no i don't approve hi oh hey what's up just yelling at your work site i'm sore I think I'll head to the hot spring tonight. Hate to break it to you, Derek, but there is literally no water in the hot spring, so have fun with that. You're gonna be sitting on rock and nothing else. I feel like that was an invitation. Oh, hidden. I feel like I'm on a scavenger hunt, just looking for these little forageables. Open up. I want glasses. I can't see two days with no sight. On Friday, hopefully, well, with my $6? Do you think they sell budget-friendly glasses? I wanna take this boat for a little spin. It's already 11.50. Oh my gosh, the days go by so fast. Getting late, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh, hi, I mean, hi, Walter. Well, 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 if it isn't the new owner of the lot, or should I say the farm? I feel like he talks like that. Tell me he doesn't. Sure, the farm. Look at him. The farm. He's using like air quotes. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Walter. Maybe I'm being a little judgmental, but I don't think so. Hey, I'm just gonna <laughs> casually rummage through your trash can. I'm trying to survive here. I gotta save up for my glasses. Sell, 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 sell it all, almost. I'm gonna keep the poo, the trash, and the fiber. And sell everything good. I mean, this isn't of much value. It's gonna be really good for crafting though. Very valuable to us, but not to sell. I'm tempted to go open these, but I would need money to do that. So that's not gonna happen. I can't get over the, the windows of this. I know I already said that, but it's just so gorgeous. Another very successful day, I would say, on Coral Island. 495 coins, all just from foraging. That's very good. Now, what is the most valuable thing here? The mushrooms and some of the shells. And the bamboo shoot was pretty good too. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. 500? It's like we never bought the bag in the first place. Another weather forecast? Tomorrow's forecast is sunny and clear. Wear sunscreen. Oops, I don't think I have any. But what was this, coral stars? Passion and music bring these five girls together. Can they overcome the harsh world of sea pop? They will start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give their all in stages. Now, without further ado, hey, that's what I say. Coral stars, please introduce yourselves. Star in your eyes. Hello, we are Coral Stars. I have literally no idea what they're saying. Next week, we will have our first choreography lesson with a C-pop veteran. So be sure to stay tuned, producers. Goodbye. Next week on Coral Stars. With that attitude, you should quit before wasting everyone's time. <gasps> so rude. Coral Stars are now facing the harsh truth. Can they weather the storm? Wow, I'm on the edge of my seat. We have mail. <gasps> Wait, but look at the rain on the roof. Look at the rain on the roof. 
Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Ever? No, you haven't. Hello, Sarah. Looking for a way to pass the time? Or maybe you want to earn extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow? When you have the time, please visit us at the Beach Shack. We have the perfect welcome gifts for you. Sunny and Eleanor. All right. We will put that on the list of things to do. We got a lot to do, though. I'm living my best life out here. People to meet, trash cans to rummage through. Where do you think one should go for good ramen? Home? Just go home. The shack? My farm? That's a little forward. I think I'm gonna say the shack. Hmm. Really now? All right, thanks. Will you ask? Why? <laughs> Why did you ask a question if you don't want an answer? I didn't want to like invite her over. I just met her. I didn't want to tell her to go home. I thought that would be rude. Shows what I know. Oh, hey, it's you. Are you looking for farming advice? Never worked the land myself. I'm more at home at sea. What's that for my plants here? My lovelies. Did you know? I learned this from Jeff Smith, but on rainy days, you actually don't have to water your um, plants and stuff. Oh, gotta get rid of all this. I mean, also like, this looks like a big problem. I look like I'm freezing and unhappy. I don't know why I'm putting her in these situations. You know what, no wonder she's lashing out and saying rude things to Betty. It's my fault. Look at all these shells. Inspect a very ornate sculpture. It looks familiar. Does it? The rain is just so gorgeous. I can't get over it. Did I not just clean this up? I must not have finished. Ooh, another coffer. We're gonna have to open all of those. Uh, oh, fish bones. Okay, now we've cleaned up all the trash, so I don't wanna see any more of it out here. Let's head to the beach shack. Cause we did get that letter, might as well. I mean, it's a rainy day. What? Sunny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing will get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay then, we start with fishing. <laughs> Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome, <laughs> a new face at last. Sarah, isn't it? Jim, Sarah's here. Nice to meet ya. Nice to finally meet you, Sarah. Come have a seat. We were just discussing your welcome gifts. It's fine if you prefer to stand. Gotta keep those leg muscles strong, eh? Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, sit, Sarah. So how's farm life so far? It's amazing. Why isn't that an option? Nothing I can't handle. That's the spirit. Resilient youngster, reminds me a lot about myself. Settle a debate for us, Sarah. Which is the better activity? Fishing or fun and ever exciting bug catching? My wife, the competitive ladybug. Size, Oh, Fishing is more relaxing. Bug catching does sound exciting. Um, I hate to break it to you too, but I prefer tilling. I do not want to pick sides here. Really? It explains why you moved to the farm, actually. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod and a bug net. They're giving me, honestly, like so much free stuff just for moving here. You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. So now we have all of our tools. Inventory is full. Item bug net is sent to mailbox. Okay, so my pockets are full. Cool, we can upgrade our tools here. Oh, there's Eva again. Kind of want to say hi again because I like her. I like to take inspiration from the beach sometimes. The shells, the sea, so much material. I prefer spring to summer, but if we're talking favorites, it would definitely be winter. It's more bearable working in front of the oven in winter. Any other strangers to meet? Oh, there's someone right there. Raj, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new in town? See you around. Okay, <laughs> sure. It's interesting, some of the characters are like super chatty and like friendly and then others are kind of just like, hi. I mean, I guess that's fair. If you meet someone like new for the first time, are you really gonna like get into it with them right away? Some people would. You're gonna be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here then? Wait, what? By the way, you can call me Paul. I don't get it. The docu-series Friends with Wildlife? Yeah, my wife and I made that. I can't believe you know about it. Cool, cool, very cool. Oh, okay, so I think that means we completed, yeah. We met enough characters. We did the new farmer quest, so now we have a new one. Craft a flower bouquet? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Any, okay, five flowers and then fiber. Oh my gosh, look, it's so cute. Oh, look, look at these little flowers. Who should I give this flower bouquet to? I only have one. Oh, Anne, good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm? Welcome to the community. A quick word of advice from your new neighbor. Be patient. Since last year, those darn crops aren't growing like they used to. Oh, maybe we can get more flowers to make more bouquets so I don't have to pick just one person. I don't know how to choose just one person to, to give the bouquet to. Ooh, a fish. I'll save it. Oh my gosh. And a common starfish. Hello, Takeba. Is that you, Taro? Oh, 
Haven't seen you before. Are you new here? Oh, seems a little lost. Wow, just the rain graphics. I can't get over it. We mean business. Who am I gonna give to give the bouquet to? I'm definitely not giving it to Walter. I could give it to you. Bree? Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. Okay, you're not getting my flowers. I was gonna say, I feel like I should give them to Betty to apologize for being rude about her mooncakes. I see more strangers though. You're still here, hey? Hello there, don't mind us, we'll be out of your hair in no time. Sorry about all the noise and dust, we can't really help it. Okay, I'll talk to one of the kids. Valentina, hello Miss Sarah, nice to meet you too. I'm Valentina. She looks cold. I feel like you should have an umbrella. All of you, children, you need umbrellas. Raincoats? My name? Hmm, my name's Oliver, why? Yeah, you know what, girl, why are you asking? Are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? <sighs> no one's convinced, you guys, that I'm a farmer. Okay, there's- Oh, those were the strangers. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. Perfect uh, timing. Hi. You must be Sarah, right? Damn, I wasn't expecting you to look like this. You're surprisingly cute. I don't understand why everyone's surprised that I'm cute. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. Name's Pablo. I don't know jack about farming, but hey. If you need help with tools, come by my shop just north of town and I'll see what I can do. Ciao. Oh, hi. Dippa. Huh? Sarah? I'm Dippa. Oh, a corporate employee? And now you're a farmer. What a twist, huh? A corporate employee? Yeah. Hi, we met Taco earlier. Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure's mine. Interesting. Moving to a small island from Pokio is an odd choice. And why now? But I suppose everyone has their own reasons. Good luck with everything. I think I'm going to go with... Kenny. Do you want these flowers? Working in the rain can be challenging, but I don't mind. At least it goes a long way in washing all that muck and pollution right out of the air. Oh, so true. Wait, wait, wait. Gift. <gasps> Look how cute this is. This is a cute moment. Gift flower bouquet to Kenny, yes. How did you know I like this? Thanks. Oh, I just took a wild guess. I thought, you know, you're talking about nature and stuff. We completed the quest. Oh, I didn't get anything. You know what? I got friendship. I got friendship. That's more important than any other reward. Being a first-time farmer must be challenging. There's a lot to get used to, huh? I mean, I guess. Now, I still want to apologize to Betty. I'm gonna give her a daffodil. Oh, perfect, she hasn't gone to bed yet? Thank goodness, because then it would be like, even worse, I'd just make everything worse. Here, hi. I'd like to say I'm sorry for my farmer's sass earlier. Such a beautiful flower, you're very kind. She loves it. Okay, I feel better. If I don't absolutely have to leave the house, I try to stay in when weather's like this. Did you know turtles often eat trash? They think it's plankton or floating seaweed, but they can't digest it. Eating trash really harms animals. Oh, don't worry, Betty. I've been cleaning it all up. I don't know who was littering, but I've been cleaning up after them. It does kind of feel like everyone is inside, which I mean, makes sense. It's like not very, I mean, I think it's beautiful out, but I guess it would be cold to be out in the rain like this. I don't know though, isn't it tropical? Isn't it kind of warm? I already met you, Shaggy. Surya. Oh, you're Sarah. I've heard about you from my uncle Joko, the carpenter. Tall, mustache, no? Yeah, yeah, you fixed up my house. Actually, I also just moved here last winter for work. Oh my gosh, we're so samesies. I kind of want to see if I can get, okay, I can get hay from the grass and fiber. I want to see if I can get any wild seeds. I might have to go with these ones to get it. That also, yeah, that one gave me wild seeds. Oh no, my inventory's full. <gasps> Maybe I can craft, yes, one of those and free up some pocket space. I need any wild seed I can get. It looks like you won't get them from the regular grass. Maybe just from like these weed type ones. Oh, another chest. More candy tree seeds. More wild seeds, nice. We got a couple now. 
Weather forecasting is such a sham sometimes. They said the rain would be over by now. Oh, not on the network that I watched. They just said it was going to rain today. I like spring. It's easier to get fresh ingredients this time of year. Spring and summer. And don't forget fall. Hmm. Hang on. That's basically the whole year. I don't have pocket space. Wait, we're going to have to come back. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to... Can we come back? I need to come back. Okay, we can get that. My farm exit is a little bit cluttered, but look, I think I can find a way through almost. Definitely make sure you have a path back to your farm for moments like this where you're like panicking, <laughs> racing back. Wait, I want to go back for the... Is it worth it? Probably not. Probably not, but am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Because why? Because we like to live life on the edge is why. I want this. Daffodil. I want this. Mangosteen. And I want this. Who? Great. <laughs> the cherry on top. But the, the daffodil and the mangosteen, awesome. I kind of want to start collecting the flowers actually so I can make bouquets out of them. I feel like that would be smart because then either I can gift them. I, I wonder if they sell for more. We'd have to try that out. Oh wait, I want to sell this one. I'll keep that. Keep that. Uh, quickly plant a couple more seeds. Oh my gosh, and go to bed. I, I barely made it. I barely made it. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's go to bed. 367. I made a little bit less, I think, today than the day before because I, um, like, kept more of the forageables. Oh, and I sold a bunch, like, at the bee shack. So I actually probably made more. 60 for this one. Okay, that was worth going back for, actually. And the wasabi are 55 each. Okay, so this is now the number one spring forageable that we found so far, followed by wasabi. Sweet. So... We now have a thousand coins in our pocket. We are moving up in the world so quickly. So that is it for our very first episode of the new Coral Island Let's Play series for 1.0. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had so much fun exploring the island and getting all settled in on my farm. So please remember to give the video a like if you'd like to see more installments in the series. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Paul, Meredith, Ember, Formotis, Tansy, Becca, Anime Lover, Jack, James, Cisco, Phoebe, Janelle, Dragonfay, Judith, Blossom, Sunshine, Elsa, Cheese, Divine Raven, Kayla, Wolf, Salem, Zaries, Lawrence, Fabiola, Sunshine, Kicknell, Alyssa, Floras, Arnica, and Grey Ghost, my beautiful gemstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible. It means the world to me.